How's it going everybody? Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video and this time around we're going to be taking a look at some Android 17 gameplay and we're also going to be talking about what Android 17's game plan is when he heads into these matches. Before we do any of that though I do have to give a massive thank you to both RhymeStyle and Bandai. RhymeStyle hit me up on Twitter and offered me a code to the Nintendo Switch version a little early and that version came with Android 17 and cooler and that's literally the only reason I'm able to do these videos today. If you want to see a more pure breakdown of Android 17 as a character and his special move list in detail, then I would strongly recommend checking out Rhyme Style's channel as he just uploaded a video recently that does exactly that. But for now, let's try to focus back on Android 17 and trying to decipher what it is he's supposed to do in Dragon Ball Fighters. And I know I said we wouldn't be taking too much of a look at his moves and I did mean that, but I think what he's supposed to do becomes super clear as soon as you see his Rekka mechanic. So if you do quarter circle forward and then press a button, this is, comes out, and if you click a button after that you'll get this additional punch on the end, and after that it's all about adding directions. So if you do that same segment and hold forward, you'll get the overhead version of this, and if you do the same thing and hold back, you'll get this fast fall faint attack, uh, super good for going for lows. If you hold key blast, you'll get this barrier. If you hold down and press a button, you'll get a low, and you can also cancel out of this stance into both of your wall jumps. The wall jumps, by the way, can be canceled into a wide variety of moves. You've seen me demonstrate that here with key blast, but you can only do it after you jump off of a wall. Uh, while you're going to a wall, you are completely vulnerable and can't do anything. I actually couldn't, for the life of me, find out anything unique with this wall jump mechanic, except for the fact that when your opponent is in the corner, if you time your assist perfectly, it does knock them out of the corner. This is significant for me because I am going to be playing 17 with Yamcha, so if your opponent does block that, uh, you can continue your pressure right away, and it gives you the option to go for a mix-up uh, when you didn't have that option before in the corner. And with that, now you can kind of see that Android 17 is a super heavy mix-up character. This is definitely a character designed to be run on point so that he can get the most mileage out of trying to open up his opponents with this Rekka system. There are of course gaps in the string when you do try to go for the overhead, so you're going to want to cover that with an assist or by conditioning your opponent heavily. If you do plan on playing 17, now might be the time to start learning conditioning in fighting games. You're going to want to really study how your opponent reacts to things you do so that you can plan accordingly for the next time you have them in block stun. If you can do that, I can see you getting a lot of mileage out of Android 17. I think when played at his best, you'll see Android 17's using this system not only for mix-ups, but also going for the quarter circle back version as well as another form of a feint to get their opponents to show their hands metaphorically on defense to seeing how they react when they see Android 17 about to start a Rekka. This system isn't the only thing that makes Android 17 unique. He also has a chargeable key blast, much like base Goku's spirit bomb, only for 17 he can only charge it once and then throw it and then rinse and repeat. What I really like about this move is that it stops Super Dash in its tracks and also sends the opponent flying in a straight downward line, making it super good in the clutch when your opponent is down to their last character, they really want to get in, they're going to try some desperate super dashes, this move will stuff that and make it super easy to punish with a vanish and either go into Android 17's air level 1, or if you have an assist that helps them out, because the move sends them flying straight down you can delay the vanish a little and then just pick up a normal combo and extend it with your assist. If you plan on playing Android 17 when he comes out, you should probably always keep these charged during the end of the game. The move itself does have a hitbox so you can do it safely during a combo and knock your opponent away from you, and then afterwards you can just hold it until you really need to use it. And if you don't plan on playing Android 17, you should probably know about this move just in case you do get down to your last character. You probably won't want to be throwing out any super dashes if he has that move charged up already. Moving on to just his normals, Android 17 is pretty standard in most areas, but one button that I really like is his jumping medium. The move has a lot of good range to it and stuffs super dashes pretty easily in my experience. Of course, this is is far from a natural online environment, uh, but it does look like if you see the white, you can react to it with a medium and it will stuff it for the most part. This of course doesn't apply to when they are at that upwards angle from you. Uh, then you should probably just stick to your down heavy or blocking in that case. Other than that though, everything else is pretty much standard here. His down heavy, standing heavy, and jumping heavy are all pretty much function to similar ones we have in the game already. Where there is definitely more to talk about though is in Android 17 specials. Much like a lot of other characters, Android 17 does have two level one supers. He has one that can only be performed on the ground and one that can be performed only in the air. So where I assumed he was almost like Bardock in the fact that he could do his level one wherever he wanted, be it on the ground or in the air, uh, it's actually not like that at all. On the ground he has end game where he teleports behind the opponent, 
launches a flurry of attacks, and then ends up on the opposite side of the opponent, making this super awkward to perform in the corner because it costs you your corner pressure, which is something that a mix-up character like 17 really would rather not have. This makes going for his aerial level 1 on knockdown opponents much better. And there's two different ways you could go about this. You could either A, do the combo normally and then time it right before you hit the ground and let it launch, or you can do something a little more technically demanding and land and then instantly jump and perform the input right away. That should work for you as well. Although I will be the first one to say that doing this on the Nintendo Switch controller was pretty difficult, but I did eventually get it down pretty consistently. And of course his level 3 functions like most other level 3s in the game. It does give a hard knockdown which is important, but also Android 17's in particular just sets him up for amazing wake up game. It puts him at a perfect angle where he can just air dash in or you know micro dash hop, uh, whatever you want to do really, it, but it puts him at a perfect angle to either A dash in and go for the overhead or B delay it just a little with the overhead on purpose to make it look like an overhead and then go for a low or just repeat that same process but instead of the low go for the dragon rock. This really strikes me as almost a bardock level of Oki in the corner and it also doesn't help that I have been seeing reports that you can tiger knee this level 3 in the corner into getting like an air dash set up and that might also be crazy for wake up. Long Long story short, I think Android 17 when he has you in the corner is going to be devastating to play against, so you're really going to want to practice your defense against him, and if you are a 17 player, uh, you're really going to want to learn how to keep your opponents in the corner here. And that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. I think that's really all you need to know to really hit the ground running with Android 17. Knowing this, you should just be able to hit the training mode for maybe 10 to 20 minutes, get the buttons down, and then boom, off to online where you can get some real practice in against uh, some savages. <laughs> as always, let me know down in the comments what you you think of Android 17 and whether or not you're excited to play as him when this DLC launches in only two days from when I'm recording this. And once again, huge thank you to RhymeStyle. I really do appreciate it. I, I I honestly can't thank you enough. It was so much fun getting to try out the Switch version. Uh, and I actually do want to do a Switch version review, so let me know if any of you would be interested in that. Uh, spoiler alerts if you made it to the end of the video. The Switch version is actually really good. Uh, but yeah. Anyway guys, while you're down in the comments, if you like these videos and want to see more like them, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next video.